You're watching Maine's Total Weather and News. I'm Tracy Stable. And I'm Steve Minnick. Lewiston's mayor wants to create an online registry of Mainers who receive welfare benefits. Mayor Robert McDonald says if people can easily access public pension information, they should be able to do the same for welfare recipients. The mayor plans to submit a bill asking the state to create a website containing the names, addresses, and the benefits each recipient is collecting. It is, however, a federal law that protects a welfare recipient's privacy. And Bangor, a man convicted of stuffing his girlfriend's son inside of a clothes dryer, has been sentenced to three years in prison. Earlier this year, Adam Morton of Berlin, New Hampshire, pleaded guilty to a charge of aggravated assault. A doctor who examined the boy last August determined that the boy had been in the dryer for a prolonged period of time, leading to second degree burns and blisters on his back, arms, and feet. And final approval of a $338 million settlement for the victims of the Loch Legatic train disaster two years ago has been delayed. The delay until October 5th allows the company Canadian Pacific Railway more time to either join the settlement or negotiate terms to withdraw its objection. Canadian Pacific is the only one of some two dozen potentially liable companies to oppose the fund. 47 people died in the disaster. And thanks for joining us for this News 8 web update. And make sure you check back at WMTW.com on our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have a great evening.